Nate here at Viking Masic U.S. Headquarters in beautiful Utsburg, Wisconsin. Today I'm here with one of our fastest vertical form fill seal machines, the Velocity 250. The Velocity is capable of incredible packaging speeds, but don't take my word for it. Be sure to check out some of our videos of this machine in action. They're awesome. Today I will be showing you how to change the Velocity's vacuum pull belt. The vacuum pull belt transfers air suction from the vacuum manifold to grab onto the film pulling it through the machine while making the vertical seal. It's critical to have a fresh pull belt capable of gripping the film to maintain peak speed and operating performance. First, before we get started taking the belt out, a quick word about safety. Be sure to follow your organization's lockout tagout procedures and PPE guidelines before performing this repair. Failure to use caution while working on the machine could result in injury. Don't hurt yourself or somebody else while working on the machine. Now with that said, Let's get to it. Step one, remove the M8 bolt that holds the electrical cabinet to the side of the machine with a 13 millimeter wrench. Once removed, the electrical cabinet can swing open on its hinges, giving you access to the right side of the machine compartment. Step two, optional. Mark the placement of the sliding pulley bolt to achieve the same pulley placement when installing the new belt. Step three, loosen or remove the nut that holds the top pulley in position with a 24 millimeter wrench. Step four, with a 13 millimeter wrench, turn the pulley vertical adjustment bolt located above the top pulley counterclockwise to lower the pulley. It may be necessary to lightly tap on the bolt to get the pulley to drop down. Once the top pulley is low enough and the belt tension is relieved, remove the belt. Step five, install the new belt. Step six, turn the pulley belt vertical adjustment bolt clockwise with a 13 millimeter wrench to raise the top pulley. This tightens the pull belt. The pull belt should be tightened to the point where it rides firmly on the pulleys and manifold. The belt should not be over tightened or banjo string tight. Step seven, use a 24 millimeter wrench to install the top pulley nut, locking the pulley into position. Step eight, Reattach the electrical cabinet and install the M8 bolt that holds the cabinet onto the machine before running. Optional. If needed, by loosening the M8 bolts on the front of the vacuum manifold with a 13 millimeter wrench, it is possible to change the manifold's orientation and how it rides on the center of the vacuum pull belt. Sometimes this is necessary to achieve better vacuum. Keep in mind, however, that this may also change the gap between the pull belt and the former. That's how you replace the vacuum pull belt on a Velocity. If you need a vacuum pull belt for your Velocity or any other part for any other Viking Masic machine, call the number at the end of this video. Make sure to tell them that you saw this video and that you enjoyed it. They like that. Also, if you found this video helpful or entertaining or both, Make sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons below.